Hello guys, today I will show you an example of filament project with a lot of charts and widgets. And not only the typical dashboard widgets like this, tables and charts and summary numbers, but also for specific record of a flight in this case, you can take a look as administrator at widgets and numbers for specific record like this. So a lot of tables and numbers related to specific flight by its ID. And this project was created in Filament 4 Beta. And let me show you the code. First, let's start with the widgets on the dashboard. But before we do that, kind of a side note, this channel is not that active lately this summer for a few reasons. First, Filament 4 Beta is still in beta, so I don't want to shoot too much content before it is stable and active. So I will have more videos on Filament 4 later this year. Also, I'm quite busy with my main channel, Laravel Daily. And yeah, it's summer. So life happens, family vacations. Also, I will travel to Laracon US for the first time ever this year. So if you're there, come and say hi. So yeah, this channel will be more active in August and September. Now back to the topic. Generally, the dashboard widgets are automatically discovered from a folder. So default admin panel provider has those two widgets on top, which come from the installation and then everything will be discovered in app filament widgets. And we have five widgets here on the left in that folder. So to generate any widget here, you go to terminal and run something like this, make filament widget, and it will place the widget in that folder. Now let's take a look what's inside of those. Let's start with revenue overview widget, which corresponds to these three numbers on top. So inside of so-called stats overview widget, you may have multiple sub widgets, each of them is stat make and then you provide the number and a few more parameters. So three items in our array, three widgets on the dashboard. And those numbers are calculated earlier in the get stats method. So we have check in payment summary database table model and we calculate the sum and the count for different date ranges. If we take a look at that model, there's four date range, which is actually eloquent scope. So the heavy lifting is done still by eloquent, not by filament. So here we have a scope for where between we have dates for now, yesterday and others. And then you pass those numbers to stat make maybe with formatting or without formatting. Also, widgets may have private functions. So for example, there's get percentage change, which is inside of the same file, just calculating what to show in this case, like for example, this percentage or this percentage compared to yesterday or last month. So it's worth to have a separate private function because it is used in multiple times in multiple stat make elements. And those are provided as text description. So this thing at the bottom is description. And also you may have description icon, for example, for trending or for calendar here. So these are stat overview widgets on the dashboard. Next, let's take a look at this chart. This is a chart widget. In fact, if we take a look at the docs for widgets, there's stats overview and chart widgets, basically two main types, but there are more. You can have a table here and I will take a look at that in a minute, a bit later. But for chart, it extends chart widget, as you can see, and also the way how you order those widgets on the dashboard. This is the sort number, which should come first or second. Also, you may automatically pull the data every 60 seconds or so for live updates. But if we go to the get data with chart, it is powered by chart.js under the hood of the library, which expects these two things, data sets and labels. And to provide the numbers in exactly that structure, we have a separate specific eloquent function, check in payment summary, get revenue breakdown with the query. Again, we're using the same eloquent scope and we have six numbers returned here for the revenue. And then we push those numbers here in the data with three numbers, three background colors, and then three labels. As a result, we have three sections of a donut chart. And by the way, get type is donut, but in the documentation, you may find other chart types like bar, line, pi, and others. For example, as an experiment, let's change that to pi. And if we refresh, it has almost the same circular representation, but without the hole in the middle. But let's get back to 
donut here and then here on the right you have another example of another chart which is line chart so this is another widget called daily revenue trend widget again extending chart widget with similar sort and polling interval properties with the same get data but with a bit more complex structure for getting the revenue because we have not only the data but the days so we need to populate each day even if it doesn't have the data in the database so first we have one query grouping the data and transforming that to key by with collections but then also we have for each loop or for loop for each day we add a label and revenue or zero if it doesn't exist so then those two arrays become foundational data for data sets here and labels here and as you can see get type is line in this case and also you may add a few options for how to display the data also in the revenue by category the previous chart we have filters so get filters these are kind of slugs and this is what is visible here the human friendly version of these texts and then those filters are used in the function of get date range this is a private function inside of the same chart widget so based on that slug value we have start and end with different dates and then at the bottom of the dashboard two more widgets which are table widgets so top services revenue widget extends base widget which is actually table widget here on top and then you work with regular filament table you have a query with in this case raw queries to get the data so this is probably the most complex part but then for the columns it's a regular filament thing so text column text column and then you have a table like this and also even on that dashboard table you have sortable so for example we can sort by selections or total revenue and even on the dashboard tables you have search for example you can search for airport service so that search filter also works and similarly flight revenue performance widget also is a table widget with also quite a complicated raw query and also text column but also here in addition we have select filter so again a typical behavior of a table regular filament table just inside of the dashboard widget with filter here on the top right now let's go to the second part of this video and flights and we hit view and we have the widgets with a lot of numbers for specific record of the flight how does that work so if we take a look at the flight resource and this is again filament v4 beta syntax with form and table in the separate classes but for the view page we have info list and that info list is well a typical info list like it used to be in v3 nothing really too different here we have text entry with the grid but if we take a look at that flight page we don't have that info list visible because that is at the very bottom so this is the main info list for the flight i can actually zoom that in so this is the flight information in info list and those widgets on top are actually header widgets visually this is the main part but actually it's a big header so if we go to a page view flight we have array of widgets as get header widgets and those widgets are inside of the same resource so app filament resources flights subfolder widgets and then inside we have all those individual widgets which have record as a parameter corresponding to that specific record of the flight and inside nothing is much different from widgets on the dashboard so we have stats overview widget in this case with eloquent queries and collection operations and we have stat make in this case how many five widgets or tiles so this is one stats overview widget on top then we have another widget in the list also similarly this is a stats overview widget another widget another query another list of stat make with four more tiles corresponding to that line of data i will not really comment on the details of query and collection operations my goal here is to show you how widgets work in general with filament then finally we have two more widgets which seem to be table widgets but not exactly those are custom widgets where you can define your own blade content let's take a look 
So widget number three is flat baggage breakdown widget, which extends just widget. There's no base widget, there's no table widget, it's just a widget where you define your own view, the blade file. And then you have the function called get view data, where you perform the same eloquent queries. In this case, we have a private function add to breakdown. And then when we have that breakdown ready, it is returned as array. And then that breakdown data is used in that view file. This is, by the way, what I like in PHP Storm versus cursor or VS Code. Things are more clickable, so I can click and get to the view partially with PHP Storm. And on top, there is Laravel IDEA plugin. So in the view, we have X filament. So we do need to reuse the filament components. But here you're basically free to create a table with various tailwind classes or filament components. So we have for each and we have item with label and item with count and item with revenue, which are three columns inside of the table. But here then you're free to have this label, more information on top and stuff like that. And that table is identical, almost identical structurally to this one. So I will not even show that in the video. So yeah, this is kind of the overview, the practical overview of how charts and widgets work with filament, both on dashboard and on specific record view page. And I've created that filament project as a part of a bigger Laravel project for check in to the flight. And I've been talking about that project on my main channel Laravel daily in multiple videos. So I will link that playlist in the description below. And also if you want the source of that, in this case, since it's a Laravel project, it's available not on usual filamentexamples.com, but it's available for premium members of Laravel daily. We also have project examples here. And this is the project six step check-in flight form and filament admin panel is a part of that project. This was actually a debatable decision for me where to put that source in Laravel examples or filament examples. At some point I separated the YouTube channels and the projects, but sometimes they clash with both things in one repository. So in this case, it made more sense to publish it on Laravel platform. I will link that as well in the description below. And if you have any questions about those charts or widgets, or if you noticed something that I may be missing, let's discuss all of that in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.